hello there my youtube fam it is me crystal here doing another video um today instead of doing a live stream i am going to do a video and i'm going to be showing you guys on how all of my um isopads and millipedes are doing because my allergies are really bad today and i one of my my right eyes my, my right eye is swollen right now and last couple of days ago my left eye was swollen so I'm just taking it easy this week because of my allergies, but I'm still going to put out a video since I don't have to show my face on that. So without further ado, let's do this. First, I'm going to show you my ivory millipedes. I do have four of them. Um, this is a new clutch because the last clutch I had done crashed on me. But yeah, I got I got four. Four new ones. I had ordered two, but the seller decided to give me two free ones. So that was nice of that seller on eBay. But yeah, they were pretty cool. I think I got two males and two females in here. There's one right there. There's a smaller one right there. And then I got one more hanging in here somewhere. So yeah, guys, those are my Florida Ivory Millipedes. As you can know by their name, they come from Florida. Um... I feed them just about the same stuff I feed isopads, fish food, fruits, vegetables, collarbone, and this is their leaf litter, and the moss, which I put the, this is where they get the water from. So yeah, guys, I just decided to show you some of my inverts, and uh, ivory millipedes were the first on the list, so final look at those guys before I switch over to something else. And I'm assuming the fourth one is buried, so yeah. We won't disturb them while they're doing that. So let's move on to the next animal. Okay, guys, I'm back. And then on the top, I just got some armadillium wild caught that I found in a while. So I decided to start keeping those again. Only the armadillium. I can't pronounce the name right. But these guys are wild caught. I caught them right outside. And let me see if I can find some for you guys. There's one right there. Move the, move the sphagnum moss. Yep, there's one right there close up. These are the wild caught ones that I just you find outside in your backyard. Which I probably got like a half a dozen in there. But yeah, there they are. Um, Arn Delimium are, are my favorite type. I want to get some Cubaris one day, but right now we're sticking with these armadillos. So, yeah, and these, and again, these are the wild type. I just found these out in the backyard. So there we go. Okay, next here we got the zebra isopaz, which I'm, which I'm gonna show you guys. I know I got a few. I know I got a bunch of those. I had these colony for a while. I think this is like one of the this is the first colony I ever got of ice. Well, no, the wild type was first, but yeah, and these got like different. Some of them got different stripes on them as well. These are pretty cool. See one right there? Got the zebra like stripes. Well, they all zebra stripes, but they they you could just tell the difference in between that stripe. And then that guy's stripe right there. So different pattern. Oh, I got a little bit of mold in here. I need to get that out. I'll be getting that out of there today because today is feeding day for these guys. So I'll definitely be getting that going. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of my zebras as well. And they do, and we do have babies. Ooh, there's a clutch. There's a there's quite a bit over there. <laughs> okay. Since I showed you guys these, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on to the next one. Okay, guys, here we are. These are my lottery isopads. They're the posolios, and there's all type of different kinds in here. And, boy, these guys breed like crazy. I got a bunch of these. Let me see if I can find some other kinds for you guys. I got some orange ones and some mixed other ones. Yeah, these, a lot of these got different colors. As you can see, they're pretty fast. That one is kind of like a calico color. Don't have to worry about running out of these. These breed all these breed like crazy. And they breed all these type of beautiful colors. That's what I love about these Pasolios. Shout out to um Supreme Gecko. I got these from him a while back. 
Boy, aren't they beautiful. Look at all the different colors on these guys. That's amazing. And of course, there, there, there's a bunch of babies, and I do keep spring tails in here to control the mite population and the little tiny flies. Hmm. Ooh, there's an orange one, and there's a wild type one right there. But yeah, guys, there they are. Here's the beautiful orange, and there's a baby. So yeah, this is what these guys are in and they're doing pretty good and I know they're happy because they keep breeding for me like crazy, which is a good thing. So no complaints there. These are the lottery ISO pads and we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, I am back and this time I'm going to show you my giant canyons and there are some on top. You, you see where they get their name from. Look how big these guys are. They are huge. These are the hugest ISO pads I ever did have in my collection. And again, I got these from Supreme Gecko as well, and they're still breeding too. All these Basolios bring breed pretty good. I don't have the clowns no more. I'm having a hard time with them, but one day I'll get back into the hobby. But right now I'm happy with what I got, and there's some, and there's some more, and they got babies too. These are another one that really breeds, and like I said, again, these are in the Pasolio family. There's a, there's a smaller one right there. So yeah, these are my Giant Canyon ISO pads. And I love these guys. I love their size. Until these guys, I never knew none could get this big. But hey, very proud. I'm very proud to have them in my collection. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move on. Okay, guys, in here I got a Bumblebee Millipede. Um, I only have one left, so I put it in here. Um, these guys are a little bit more challenging than Irie Millipedes, because they got to have the really warm humidity, so I think I'm done. I'm, a, I don't think I'll get no more of these when I'm done, but who knows? I could be wrong, but yeah, I got it in here because it's, um, it's, it's the only one left. I have, so yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's, it's still hanging on really good, so there we go. And then I also keep this little snail in there with it. Um, this is a wild type snail, wild caught. Um, it should be waking up for hibernation anytime now. So there we go. Last but not least, I also got some uh, beetles. Some darkling beetles, uh, they, as you can see, they cannot stand the light. That one's trying to hide because, you know, I got slight on him. It's hard to see him, so I'm probably just going to do them up. But I got these guys um, because, as you can see, they um, they give me mealworms, and I feed their babies off to my frogs or sometimes the wild birds even. And as you can see, there are some baby mealworms in here, which they all going to hide because none of them, they all can't stand the light. So, yeah. See if I can show one real quick. There we go. You can turn over. You can too. Well, YouTube fam, I'm going to go now. I just wanted to do this quick video for you guys to show you guys my, inverter, and my invertebrate collection that I got. Um, if you like these type of videos, pets and plants, please feel free to give me a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you ain't already. And please hit that notification bell so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And until the next time, if you're a mother, have yourselves a blessed Monday. Other than that, have yourselves a blessed day. May God bless you. Bye-bye.